So if you didn't already guess, yes, the charging speed does slow down quite a bit. Now it's at 98% and it was at 92% almost, what was that, 15 minutes? But that first half hour, man, does it charge fast. OnePlus watch, warp charging, they were not lying. Ooh, it's gonna make it in under an hour. That is way faster than the Apple watch. If I can get it to turn on. Oh, it's, it's updating. And that is faster than the Garmin and the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2. And in case you're wondering, yes, I was able to make it to 14 days off one charge. Well, it's about 13 days, actually. I don't know how they got to day 14. They weren't really using GPS. And just like that, our OnePlus watch is fully charged. It was fully charged four minutes ago, but I like to top it off just for fun. So now we can take that off the charger and I'll be good to go for another, oh, I don't know, 12 to 14 days. It's worn well, I must say, over the last 36 days with this watch and I quite enjoy using it. That's my nap that I had last night. <laughs> and yes, it does detect naps, that's, that's pretty cool. The navigation is quick. I really wish I had a uh, TV, so I could test the OnePlus TV. OnePlus, if you wanna send me a, a TV to test, I, I would not object to that, and then I would be happy to share my test results and how it connects with the OnePlus watch. Just FYI. So my likes and dislikes have not changed much. Uh, really, the accuracy is questionable. If you compare it to other watches in the price range, I think it's pretty good. If you wanna compare it to the Apple Watch, you're gonna be disappointed. If you're gonna compare the OnePlus Watch to the Garmin Tactic Series, or the Garmin, what's the other one, the Phoenix Series, or even this one, the Star Wars Series, the Garmin V-Vector 4, this is, these are more expensive watches. This was 150. I know this is probably like the fifth time I've said that, but you really need to keep that in mind. It's in a category unique to itself because it's not a true flagship watch, but it does compare quite nicely to this little thing, the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2, which I'm wearing this week in testing, but it was only $60. Anyway, the accuracy is better. It's still not perfect. Uh, overall, it's about 20% less accurate <laughs> than uh, Fitbit step counting. As far as GPS, it's within 10% to 15% as accurate as Garmin, Apple, and even Samsung, even this Garmin. If you're a weekend warrior and you just want a watch for training and keeping track of your workouts, I would recommend this watch, especially for the entry-level pricing. So here's the outdoor running. So right there, it's catching GPS. Expired GPS info may cause slow location, PLS, Please connect your watch to your phone to update Ephemius info. Okay, and that's cool. So we'll just say go anyway, and then it quickly countdowns. Oh, you know, here, hold on, let's do that again. I forgot to turn on the sound. Now, one thing I dislike about this is when you're in the workout mode, you can't leave it. So if you want sound during your workout, you have to enable that before you start. So now we'll go back, go to workout, outdoor running, go. And there's your workout. So the sounds are pretty good. I have it cranked up. And if we swipe over, we can control our music. So control mobile music through my phone, or I can play watch music. Bluetooth headset disconnected. Okay, we'll try this live. These are the OnePlus Buds Z, the Stephen Harrington edition. So we'll pop this open. Oh, perfect timing. That's how loud the alarm is. And you can hear the vibration next to my wooden desk. Pretty good, right? And it just keeps on going till the alarm. Reminder in 10 minutes. So the alarms still work when you're in workout mode. So we'll take these out of the case and then they should connect. 
OnePlus Bud Z disconnected. Nope. Reconnect. Come on, OnePlus. Make yourself look good. <laughs> uh, OnePlus Bud Z link failed. Please ensure the device communication is in range and pending pairing. Okay, well, they're right here. They're fully charged. <laughs> That's a bummer. Okay. I've had problems with these before and I contacted support. So they asked me to shoot a video about it. And there it is. There's my, my video. They usually work, but apparently you have to pair them before I start a workout. Come on. No BT headset found. Okay. One plus earbuds to the one plus watch. That should work, right? Well, Sometimes it doesn't. And then you just swipe to go back. So that didn't work. Oh, well, we tried. But when it does work, they stay connected. Uh, I did a one hour test and they stayed connected the whole time. And that is my 36 days with the OnePlus watch. <laughs> I don't know why I sh show the box, uh, I guess for a dramatic effect. But uh, I'm actually not wearing it at this second. I put it in my pocket because I missed the leaderboard and OnePlus hasn't developed a leaderboard yet. Uh, I don't know that Fitbit had it right out of the gate or Garmin. So I strapped back on my Garmin VivoActive 4 so I could get more leaderboard interaction. So I tried the OnePlus Buds again, the OnePlus Buds Z, and I got them to connect with the watch. And again, the music was, it was good. It was okay. So I hope you enjoyed that quick review. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'll have more later. See you soon. Goodbye.